Hello, I'm Yoko, and this is the second time I'm recording audio for this video because I was a dummy who forgot to plug in my microphone the first time, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> but here's part two of drawing all the Animal Crossing mice as humans. If you didn't see part one, I recommend checking it out first as I go into more detail about how this series goes. But the TLDR is I assigned these mice a score between 1 and 6, and I drew them in the order from least liked to most liked. Here in part 2 are the mice that scored higher, so with that said, let's just get into the drawings. First up is Greta, who I gave a score of 3. She is a snooty villager with the catchphrase Yelp, and the picture quote, The world is a stage. Her skill is playing horseshoes, which is unexpected, and her goal is to be a florist, which is more expected. I'm fond of Greta because I've had her in my New Leaf town before, and I've formed an attachment. Also, I drew her with her eyes closed in this drawing to have a more resemblance to her base expression in the game, but I'm going to just put what she looks like with her eyes open on the screen for anyone that doesn't know. I really like when the characters have little things like this, but yeah, don't make Greta angry, she is scary. If you hear weird noises in the background, by the way, it is very windy outside, and also my dogs are moving around. Design-wise, I drew her with hair loops to resemble her ears and styled her bangs like her model, though in general I made her hair longer than what it looks like in model because, you know, they never really have long hair because base model. I had fun drawing her neat yet slightly messy bangs and her big dot eyebrows. I love dot eyebrows. I think they're cute. Uh, I know some people don't like them, but I really like them. I kept Greta's makeup with red lipstick and blush, and I also added a little red eyeshadow too, though I didn't make her face quite white. Uh, Gretel's facial design is based on the Otofuku, which is a Japanese mask and is probably why her picture quote references stages and stuff. There's not too much more to say about her clothing, as I kept it basically the same as her in-game clothes, so yeah. Here's my Greta design. I think I did a good job in capturing her vibe, and I hope you guys like it. But we have seven more mice to get to, so let's get moving. The next mouse up is Bree, who I also gave a score of free. She too is snooty, but her catchphrase is the adorable, in my opinion, cheese ball. Her picture quote is, the gift says more about the giver. And her skill is doodling, so we have an art gal on our hands. Love to see it. I love whenever the bonus info mentions that they're art kids or art people in general. And her goal is to be a dermatologist. Interesting goal. Some bonus info on her mentions that she cleans a lot and she says that a messy room means a messy mind. And I'm sorry, Brie, my mind must be a giant mess because, oh boy, my room is messy right now. I like Brie because she's just cute in general. She's one of the few villagers to have an actual interesting eye color instead of just like black dots or brownish dark color and it just pops in general and goes well for hair which is the same color she'd probably be ranked higher for me but her score gets docked slightly for having green hair that reminds me of a certain danganronpa character that we shall refer to as pickle satan um if you know her you know her um she's not my favorite i do not like her it definitely looks more like her in the way i drew her because i also gave her a big pink ribbon and it, that doesn't really help considering the other character has a red ribbon, but that's fine. She's super cute and she stands on her own. It's just I can't unsee Monica. I drew her dress that she has in game, but I added a black belt to add a bit more visual interest. And I gave her light green shoes that make no sense, but they look fancy. I should really learn how to actually draw shoes some of these days. It's hard to tell due to her already being pale, but she's also is wearing white tights. But yeah, here's my Brie. I really like her. I think she turned out super pretty, even if she resembles a certain character. So I hope you guys like her. And I'm pretty sure I made her the thumbnail for this video. Next up is Dora, who I gave a score of 4. She is a normal personality type villager with the catchphrase, squeaky. And it's referenced in her picture quote with, the squeaky wheel gets the cheese. Her skill is dusting and her goal is to be a translator. Which is hilarious due to her name being Dora. I know it's a reference to Dormouse, but that's a really funny coincidence. I know Dora isn't exactly a popular choice because I'll be honest, she's just a white mouse. And in part one, I ranked Samson pretty low due to basically just being a gray mouse. But what boosts Dora for me is that I used to own a white mouse named Snowflake for like three years. So I have a personal bias to like the white mice because... 
I, I miss my mouse. She was really cute. Blue is also my favorite color, so her blue accents make her much cuter to me, which is why she's above Brie. Design-wise, she's wearing a Japanese outfit, which was throwing me off in my rough sketches before the video. Um, I struggled a lot trying to get her face right and just in general. So I ended up just finishing it with poofy shorts and added light blue stripes to her socks to call back to her tail, though they look a little weird. Um, I already made Brie super pale, so I just gave her white hair and gave her a slightly more darker skin tone. And I gave her big poofy pigtails that fade into blue at the end to resemble back to her ears. I kept her lopsided smile and big eyes, and that's basically Dora. Um, I think she turned out pretty cute um, regarding the circumstances of the fact that there's not much to go on. So hope you like her. And we're moving on. Next up is Bella, who also got a score of four. She is a peppy villager with the catchphrase, eeks, and the picture quote, a glamour shot is worth a thousand words. Her skill is staying up late, which is a mood, and she wants to be a singer. I see a lot of people hating on Bella, and I don't get it. She's always seemed like a cool, excited rocker mouse with Avril Lavigne vibes to me, and I love her. I haven't been talking about houses much in this video, but Bella looks like she lives in a garage. <laughs> But back in New Leaf, in the middle of all her punk slash edgy stuff, she had a bright pink bed that I thought was super cute and showed that she has a girly side despite being, like, pretty tough and stuff. And side note, in her house, she has the skull stereo, which is super cool. And back to what I said with Brie, I have a bias for the white mice. Design-wise, I gave her a mostly shaved head with a blonde mohawk. I gave her a tooth gap because mouse and she has buck teeth on her model. And I made her face more freckled. I gave her gray earrings and painted her nails black along with fingerless black gloves. I made her shirt kind of loose around the collar and gave her gray shorts with fuzz poofing out. Uh, not quite sure how that works. I think I was mostly just thinking of Hilda from Pokemon, the black and white protagonist. I gave her slightly faded gray shoes and I thought it'd be super cute if she was the type of girl to doodle on her shoes with Sharpie. So I made some scribbles of things like skulls and stuff. I'm pretty sure they usually doodle on the part that isn't the white part, but I've seen it both ways, so she doodled on the white part. I had a lot of fun drawing her. In general, there's not a lot of the more quote-unquote edgy characters in Animal Crossing, so I really enjoy the ones that we do have, like her, Cherry, and others. So if there's a chance that they could be seen as quote-unquote edgy, then I'm going to be taking it and running with it. But yeah, here's Bella. I love her, and I think she's super cool. I hope you like her. Next up is Broccolo, who was my last score of four. He is a lazy mouse with the catchphrase, eat it, which probably references to the fact that his name sounds vaguely like broccoli, which is one of the few vegetables I enjoy. Um, I am a very picky eater, but I will love some broccoli, especially if it has cheese. His picture quote is, one nap leads to another, which is very true words. His skill is climbing trees, and he wants to be a movie director. His house has a lot of kid-like furniture, and overall he gives me very baby vibes. I think he's just super cute, and again, blue is my favorite color, so design-wise, I made him a very small child. And I took this design choice to take the opportunity to give him the type of, the type of pajamas that cover your feet and have like a hood with big old mouse ears. Um, I don't know exactly what they're called. I'm pretty sure they have an actual name for them, but I don't know it. Um, some may call this a design cop-out, but I think it's super cute and it's fine. I also gave his tail just straight up on the design as part of the PJs. I gave him pretty poofy hair peeking out from the hood. My initial planning had him with more of a harsh edge bowl cut, but that made me think that he looked too much like my Weber design that I already drew from when I did the ducks. So I changed it up a bit. When I decided to make him a kid, the biggest part of confusion was his in-game clothing is a university sweater. So I just ended up making it a hand-me-down from potentially an older brother. And presumably Broccolo has painted in it, perhaps setting up his own little movie sets. Because I put little yellow and blue blotches on it to add more pops of color. And he's wearing it over his pajamas because he just wanted to, and that's kid logic for you. But yeah, here's my Broccolo design. I love him so much. He's so baby, and I want to pinch his cheeks. He might be my favorite mouse design, despite being kind of a design cop-out, maybe. But I hope you like him, too, and I just, I just think he's super cute. 
Next up is Rod, who I gave a score of 5 to. He's a jock villager with the catchphrase ace and the picture quote, if you can't beat him, work harder. His skill is sprinting and he wants to be an explorer, which goes well with his pirate ship themed house. I love Rod and his cute pirate aesthetic. He has such a cute face and I'll be honest, I don't think I did his face justice. I drew him before doing any warm-up drawings that day, so it's not my best work. I did a lot of flip-flopping between giving him light blue or darker eye colors, but I ended up sticking with the light blue, but I think the darker one might have looked better. I don't know. You let me know. Uh, You can probably see me flip-flopping in the video. I made him tanner with the hint of tan lines underneath, like, his arm area. And the white lines on his face are meant to be sunscreen, but... It doesn't really come across that well. I meant to make it look like he put it on to look like whiskers and stuff, but I don't think I, I don't think I achieved that. I gave him a white and blue bandana, which I think he has in game, though that might just be a cap. I'm not quite sure. And I gave him blonde hair that sticks out from the top of it, reminding me a bit of Finn from Adventure Time with his blonde hair that he has hidden underneath that cap. But I also have a ponytail sticking out the back. He's wearing his striped tank top, and I gave him purple shorts. But yeah, here's Rod. If I was a little more on my drawing A game drawing him, I probably would have adjusted his facial features a bit to be more accurate, but I still think it's a cute drawing, so here's the little pirate mouse. Hope you like him. Next up is Chatter, and we have officially gotten to mice that I gave a perfect score of 6 to. Chatter is a smug mouse with the catchphrase fromage, and the picture quote, Meeting is just the start of us saying goodbye. Which sounds like some Playboy stuff to me, but we're, we'll come back to that. <laughs> His skill is cramming for tests, and he wants to be an actor. So I have Chatter in my New Horizons town right now, and I love him. He has such a fancy house and a cool cityscape wallpaper. Seriously, one of my favorite wallpapers. In my game, he always seems to have a different specifically girl villager hanging out with him. I swear, I've seen Judy, Tammy, and June all there. I swear my town doesn't just only have cub villagers, those are just the ones that came to my mind. My mom, who also lives in the town, has deemed him a playboy who gets all the girls and messes around, which I just find hilarious. She doesn't like him, but I obviously love him. Um, I think he's a short king. Also, as a cheese lover, I love his aesthetic. Love the food-themed villagers like him and Meringue and Zucker. Design-wise, I went all the way with his little suit that he was wearing, and I had fun styling his hair by giving him a few darker orange streaks to call back to his spots. Then later in the drawing, I actually decided to add some more freckles to call back to it too. I tried playing with gloves, but they looked kind of weird when I tried to make them a darker orangey color like his hands actually are, or like a white color to go well with his suit. So in the end, I just kept them bare, but again, if you thought they looked good with either of those other glove colors, let me know. I also gave him green eyes to add that small pop of green that he has on his nose. I'm not sure if I have enough yellow in this drawing, considering it's only really on his head and his shoes area, but I think just the hair is enough. And that's basically my chatter drawing. I love him so much, and I'm really happy with this drawing. I also assume that he's a chatterbox based on his name being Chatter. Hope you like the drawing. Chatter was my favorite mouse until... Well, we're about to get into that, because last up, and my new favorite mouse, is Petrie, who of course also got a score of 6. She's a snooty mouse, who is one of the newest villagers introduced into the game. When I added her into my calculations back when she came out, she actually boosted the mice up, like, a rank. Her catchphrase is, "Mm mm-hmm, and her picture quote is, our DNA is only the beginning of the story. Since she wasn't in New Leaf, she doesn't have any bonus skills or goals information, which kind of sucks for me because I really like that bonus info. But I think we all know that she's a scientist with her laboratory house. My cat interrupted my recording because she went to use the litter box, which is near me. Fun. Anyway, back to Petrie. (laughs) I really love this cool nerdy mouse and her DNA-themed ear colors. I know when it came out, everyone was like, she has switch ears, but I was just like, "But, but DNA... Also, her name just being a reference to Petri dishes, just love the general lab rat inspiration. She's even the basic white mouse that they use, which by the way, lab rats make me sad in real life, so that kind of sucks. But it's cool that they referenced it in a better way than being a test subject. I've already stated how I have a bias towards white mice. 
And now my other cat is in the litter box. Fun. It's also super cool seeing Nerdy and Snooty combined in her design with her hair that she has tied up in the back of a red bow and her eyes being super pretty if you change her glasses. I have an amiibo card for her and she's probably going into my town whenever I get back to playing more regularly. Design-wise, I wanted to show both her nerdy side and her snooty side, so I made one of the lenses a little see-through to show her eyes. I kept her hair basically the same as her in-game model, and I couldn't really show off her bow too much since it's on the back of her head, but I tried to show a hint of it. Outfit-wise, I kept a lab coat and skirt look to give a sort of attractive lab assistant slash scientist look. And that's basically my favorite mouse, Petrie. I think she turned out super cool, and I hope you like her as well as all the others in this video. Because of that, all the mice are done. That was a lot of mice. Overall, the mice got an average score of 3 out of 6. Who is your favorite design I drew, and who's your favorite mouse villager in general? Hope I did them justice. If they weren't in this video, then they were in part 1, and if you enjoy this type of content and haven't already, then I suggest checking out my Animal Crossing Gajinka playlist, which is linked below. I'm trying to get back into getting this series out more often because there's a lot of future villagers I'm excited to get to, and the way that I'm doing it really motivates me to keep going because I'm like, if I do this, then eventually I'll get to this. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate if you could like, subscribe, and check out my socials, which are linked below. My commissions are open if you'd like to support me that way, which would be very much appreciated. And with that said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week with what should be Year 5 of Galaxy Clan. Peace!